Good morning! Today, it is actually not morning, it is like 11, 12 right now. Um, Easter morning, April 12. Um, and today we are going to be making, I call it like Easter Jello, but it's called Seven Layer Gelatin Dessert. It's like all kinds of different colored jellos mixed with um, this condensed milk type look and then it turns into like this really colorful jello but we're gonna make that today so you'll see it at the end um these are my colors for today i have red and green yellow blue and purple and then some condensed milk so i think that's all you need for the recipe and it should make approximately 24 pieces Okay, so now that the hot water is um, fully boiled, it says that we have to dissolve two tablespoons of the unflavored gelatin, which is this box, into two cups of hot water and then add condensed milk to it. Okay, so now that that's finished, I'm going to be putting the jello packets into the pot. It's gonna be one and a half teaspoons of unflavored gelatin per one cup. So we need one cup of each. So now we're going to add all the gelatin. So it's one and a half per. So I'll just put one in each. So I finally got the jello um, all dissolved, the gelatin. But, so now it's time to add the packets. So each one's going in one container. And then with the condensed milk right here with the gelatin, I'm supposed to divide it into thirds. And I think we're putting it in between each layer. <laughs> this glass one and I'm just gonna spray it with pan so I'm gonna pour in this flavor first then we have to refrigerate this for 15 minutes and do the next layer which will be the condensed milk the first layer I kind of shook it so it has like folds in it but we're gonna add I think a third of this and then put it back in the fridge. So we just have this layer. We just have to wait for that layer to harden and then we can eat it maybe in an hour. But I think this is going to end up being a um, after dinner dessert. So I will take a picture or a video of it when we cut it open. Now it's back in the fridge. It's currently 6.14 and I decided I am going to polish the countertops before we have dinner today because I think it could be a lot smoother. So we're going to do that so that at least the countertops feel fresh. And we're done. So it was just a quick polish. We've been using this on our um, countertops. It makes it pretty smooth. But if you don't keep it upkeep, it gets kind of like like if you don't wax your car often, so that's what it is. Oh, 
no. Oh, should use a fork. Woo! Look at that. Wow. Good. My cutting lines aren't too bad. <laughs> Ignore the first piece. All right, boys and girls, here's the final product.